In the Democratic Republic of Congo, campaigning for Wednesday's December 20 presidential election has ended. Incumbent President Felix Tshisekedi facing tough competition from 24 other candidates. Viewers Abdul Shakur Abu is on assignment in the Democratic Republic of Congo's capital, Kinshasa. He tells me the Congolese are ready to cast their ballots, although some are ambivalent. Everybody is uh, wrapping up his and her campaign. Midnight uh, Monday is the last day for campaign, and then there is one day rest, and on Wednesday people are going to vote. So what is happening is that everybody is sending their message, vote for me, I'm the right person. And uh, when you look at the atmosphere here, is that everybody is talking of change. It looks like they are taking a lot. She secured his government because of corruption. He failed to make changes he had promised. So the other candidates are using that against Chisekedi. How would you describe the media coverage there uh, of the campaign, particularly government media? I would say I see that they're covering it quite fairly. They have tried a lot. I've been following the media. The media here, I think, has, to a certain extent, some freedom. I have to admit that I've not followed that much the government's radio, but I thought I've been watching Tele Senkant, which is uh, Kabila's uh, radio television. And as far as I see, they have been balanced to a certain extent. Uh, the other media also, you see a lively debate of the, all sides. Now, when we spoke yesterday, Shakur, you indicated that uh, Seni, the election commission, had expressed uh, positivity that the election will go on. What are you hearing? Are people pleased that the election will take place free, fair, and on time? Well, the thing is that here, when you hear, is confusing a little bit. There are those who are saying that Seni is not ready. Seni has not sent in voting materials to far-reaching areas or to areas which they need to send. So there's a question about that. And then there's a question of the ID cards, uh, and that is also creating havoc. So there have been some candidates who are calling for a postponement of that election, but some are saying there's no need to do a postponement because if we do that postponement, we are giving them chance to steal the elections better. So I talked with... Uh, one of the candidates, he said, if they're not going to change the whole system the way they're asking, it's better they go on the 20th to elect, and whoever is the best candidate will win the vote. Shakur, thank you so much again. We look forward to speaking with you again. Thank you very much. I'll be there. That was Abdul Shakur Abu of the Swahili Service on assignment in the Democratic Republic of Congo's capital, Kinshasa. In the DRC, today, Tuesday, is a day for reflection as uh, prospective voters ponder up over which of the candidates to vote for in Wednesday's general election. It comes as campaigning officially ended at 12 midnight on Monday. Plus, Sidi Zilamba is the coordinator of civil society in North Kivu province. He tells viewers Peter Clotty that residents who lost their voter cars are at the offices of the electoral body to get new ones so that they can vote on Wednesday. We confirm that the people are ready to, to go to vote on Wednesday because they just take their election card and the others who didn't lose their card, they are at this moment uh, at the CENI office here in Goma to look the new cards in order to permit them to go to realize their vote on Wednesday. Placid, what are people in the North Kivu province saying about how the CNE is organizing the elections so far? It will be the first election on which CNE uh, respects the calendar. And about the organization, there are some uh, difficulties uh, on which CNE didn't have to respond uh, until this moment, because uh, on this moment, there are some materials of um, elections which are uh, in the helicopters in way to go uh, in far villages in Nafkif province. What are people saying about the presidential candidates so far? There were 26 candidates on, on presidential. Now three who are uh, making their campaign, but the others 
uh, they are not visible in the the the, the round. Uh, that why uh, in Goma we saw Moiz Katumbi, we saw Felix Tshisekedi and Marte Fayulu and Denis Mukwege. There are candidates which make campaign here on presidential elections, but others uh, they are going to join the, the camp of uh, some someone of those top three or four candidates. The four major candidates that you talk about, did they talk? about the major issues that residents in North Kivu want them to resolve? Yes, they talk about the security issues because it's the major problem of North Kivu province. They talk about conflicts uh, of uh, natural resources. They talk about uh, the governance in uh, North Kivu province. You know that uh, now we are uh, the governor mi- military and uh, this province, it will be two years of the military governance. That's why some uh, candidates talk about that uh, situation and uh, promise that they will do what they can uh, succeed to help people uh, to recover the peace environment. As a civil society leader, did they talk about issues of civil society and the respect for human rights of people and the rule of law? Did they talk about issues that you have been fighting for? About human rights, some candidates were talking about this situation and they promised that they will do what they can succeed in order to recover peace in here. Plasi Zilamba is the coordinator of civil society in North Kivu province, DRC. He was speaking with viewers Peter Clotty. The United States on Tuesday called on the electoral authorities in the Democratic Republic of Congo to be transparent in announcing the results of Wednesday's elections following missed deadlines in 2019. While U.S. diplomacy praised the work of the DRC's Electoral Commission, additional measures to ensure the transparency of the electoral process, including clear information on when and how results will be published, would help build confidence, U.S. State Department spokesman Matthew Mira told reporters. We urge all candidates and parties to do their part in promoting fair and free elections with a peaceful and credible process. He said also calling on the government to maintain freedom of expression. In a tense climate, some 44 million voters in the DRC out of a total population of around 100 million are called upon on Wednesday to elect their president, national and provincial deputies and, for the first time, communal councillors. Some 75,000 polling stations are to open in the immense Central African country, which is almost devoid of road infrastructure. After the December 2018 elections, the Electoral Commission said it would announce the results on January 6th, but declared Felix Tshisekedi the winner on January 10th. His opponent Martin Fayuru then denounced flawed. However, Given the DRC's violent political past, these elections marked the country's first peaceful changeover. This year, campaigning took place in relative calm. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.